Hi, my name is Mark Sarazano. I'm a registered piano technician and I am making this video to explain my technique of using double string unisons to tune a piano because a question was asked on pianoworld.com about uh, this technique and uh, the text. Writing in text is just not enough, so I decided to make the video which is really only audio. Um, so I use a double string unison technique which is uh, basically just muting one string of a trichord and tuning the other two strings until they're where I think they sound good and then unmuting the string that I muted, tuning that to the other two, making a clean unison and uh, going from there. Uh, I've been teaching people to tune pianos for about eight years now and uh, I've done a lot of changes to how I teach and uh, my most recent change is that hasn't happened, that may happen, is uh, contemplating teaching to beginners this uh, technique because of its high requirement for clean unisons and stability which are the most important skills a tuner must possess oral or electronic clean unisons and stability without that doesn't matter how you tune or what temperament you use uh, your tuning will be, will suffer so this video has three parts the first part is just a straight recording of me tuning the octave A3 to A4 using the double string unison technique. The second part is the same audio except I've split it up and uh, put in some space to slow the whole thing down and added text that, uh, that describes uh, the procedures that I'm using for each of these uh, tests. The third part is just a repeat of the first part the entire audio not split up and uh, the listener can listen in real time with the knowledge of what I was thinking about during the process. So with that here are the steps I use to tune slow beating intervals sometimes called SBI's like fourths, fifths and octaves and compound uh, intervals of those types using a DSU or double string unison. So, the first step is to tune the double string unison. That's you would mute off one string and take the other two, make them clean. Then you're going to play the interval. That includes the double string unison, and you're going to listen to the beat speed of that interval. Then you're going to detune, pick one of the strings of the double string unison, and detune it so that the beats that you hear will match the beats of the interval. Then retune the double string unison by taking the other string and bringing it up to match the first string that you moved. Then you'll listen to that slow beating interval again, check it, see if it needs to be changed, and use shimming for more precision if needed. Then you remove the mute on the double string un unison and then tune the third string for a trichord unison. Listen as I tune the uh, octave A3, A4 using the double string unison.
Now I'm going to play back the uh, recording and split it up to give uh, me time to explain each of the steps and you time to hear them. First we tune the double string unison, but in this case the A3 has already been tuned beatless. Then we're going to listen to the interval. Now that interval was beating. When I play that interval I have to remember and burn in the beat speed. Here it is again. One more time. Now uh, we're going to play the double string unison, take one string, detune it so that it matches that speed that we just heard from the out of tune octave. Now that's how fast I did it in the, when I tuned it. Well, let's listen again. That beat speed matches the octave. Now we bring the other string, the second string, the one we didn't move. Now we move that one up so that it's a clean unison. Now we recheck the interval. Still doesn't sound clean, so we're going to check it with uh, the 4 2 test. That's dirty, we have to clean it up. That's too fast, we have to raise the F3. Now listen to the 4-2 test. Narrow, so we're going to lower A3. Listen again, 4-2. It's wide, 4-2. Listen to the 4-2 again. Now it's narrow. Top is slower. At this point, I incorrectly determined that I needed to move on and check the 6-3 octave. This was wrong. I should have corrected the A3, A4 octave and made it wide before moving on. But it works out in the end. Remove the mute. We're going to check the 6 3 now. That's too fast. We're going to raise the C. Now check the 6 3. Top is slower. narrow. And the octave isn't clean. Listen again. Still not that clean. Recheck the 4-2. Sounds a bit wide. What about the 6-3? That's why too. Uh, listen to the octave. Shim up the A3. The octave is pretty good. The 4 2 is a bit wide. Okay, that could be narrow. Narrow 6-3. Wide 4-2, narrow 6-3. Remove the mute and tune the triple. Now you have a clean beatless octave of six strings. So now we're going to listen to the whole sequence again. This time, try. To, hopefully, you can uh, have a better idea of what uh, 
what each of the steps were, um, and um, it hopefully it'll uh, help explain the, the DSU and uh, the benefit of using it. Thanks very much for listening to me explain the double string unison technique and if you have any questions you can send an email to mark at howtotunepianos.com mark at howtotunepianos.com and I'd be more than happy to answer them for you.